the victorious Bielsa Queens Football Club, current league champions, Nigerian women's league champions, Games Master General of Bielsa States and Governor of Bielsa States. So may I, at this point, invite to make a brief introductory remark, the man who is at the other end, the man who is doing so much to ensure that the sporting arena is kept intact. And I'm talking about the Honorable Commissioner for Sports Development by Elsa State, Prikiye Burubuyefe, to make a brief introductory remark. Your Excellency, the Executive Governor of Bielsa State, my colleagues in council, the people I call most important part of my life, the sportsmen and women, I greet you all. Sir, we are here for two reasons. One, we are here to formally present your own cup to you because we believe without you, it wouldn't have been possible. We want to thank you for all your support. Secondly, it is your birthday. And we know a lot of persons have been here celebrating with you. We thought it would also be wise for us to come here and say happy birthday to you on this very special location. We are here because you sent us out we went out, fought, we conquered, and we are here with the cup. Permit me briefly to say how this league is being run. The league all over the nation normally is divided into two groups. And at the end of the league here, the best two from each of the groups is selected to go for what we call the Super Four. And we were, here, we were there in Lagos for about one week competing for this trophy. We were there with management, with the technical crew, with doctors, nurses, everybody that we think was important was there with us. And like the MC said, we played first uh, the team from Ondo State, Sunshine Queens. It was indeed a tough team. But at the end, we defeated them by a goal to nothing. And Nasarawa Amazons defeated Rivers Angels by five to three because they ended up 1-1 at full time. So they went into penalties and Nasarawa Amazons defeated Rivers Angels. So we and Nasarawa Amazons qualified for the finals. And the finals was played yesterday. At the end of the first half, it ended goalless. And during the break, we gave a charge. We told them, today is your birthday. And that the only way we can honor you is to win the cup and come back home. And I believe because the players also love you so much, they took the charge and went back to play the second half. And in fact, in less than no time, 
We scored the first goal, and God helping us, we scored the second goal. And in fact, they were all dead in spirit. It was indeed a wild jubilation in Lagos. Bielsans were mobilized, and even friends of Bielsa were there to dance and sing with us. And we felt we should be here to formally tell you we are indeed very, very grateful for your support. And to be frank with you, because of your directive, I was lobbied that the competition be held here. Because we felt we would have some kind of home advantage and win the cup. But God had other plans. We went to Lagos and they so fixed it at a time to coincide with your birthday. So we went, we played, and God helping us, we are here with the cup. For me, it is a sign of what we usually say, finishing strong and good. So these are signs that all will be well with this administration and even with Bias and State. Having said that, sir, may I at this time, with every humility and pleasure, say happy birthday and may God continue to bless your days as you saw ahead here on earth. Thank you and may God bless you all. I presented this plaque for all our support for female football. And this cup was last won in 2007. For 11 years we have been struggling for this and God crowned our efforts this time. Uh, we also have the young player of the season from this club as well, Joy Jerry. So she is also here with us. Well, I think uh, we'll now present the big one. That's the cup. The captain, you can join the commissioner, the, the chairman of the club. We present the championship trophy to His Excellency, the governor. After the presentation, the governor will make his own remarks. Then the chairman of the club will make a brief vote of thanks. What a befitting birthday gift. Bye, sir. No, no. Come on, come on, Thank you. Thank you. Let me recognize the members of the State House of Assembly, members of the State Executive Council, top government functionaries, the beauty of our party, the coach, captain, and our wonderful golden queens. And all your officials and supporters who are here, gentlemen and ladies of the press, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, on behalf of the government and the good people of this great state, I want to congratulate all of you. I want to congratulate Bielsa, congratulate the John Nation for winning gold, for emerging the best female team in the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Congratulations. I congratulate the Ministry of Sports, who has been coordinating all of these great and wonderful efforts. Congratulate the captain. Congratulate the coaches and all the support staff, the doctors and all the people who went and all the supporters 
we we'll find time to share our queens to victory. There is no doubt that you are the best. And I've said over and over, this state, you see this state, is a state of champions. We are a state of champions. Anything a Bielsan wants to do, we do it very well and become top. There's no state like Bielsa in the old Federal Republic of Nigeria. And I was very glad when uh, you, our queens, emerged. We were all watching. You may not know how often we watch when you play. And when you won, you needed to hear the jubilation. Even, even at my home, I was in the village. Everybody was shouting that our queens have won gold. And I told them right away, you know, I have been telling you people, these are our Bayelsa queens. They are the best female football club in Nigeria. <laughs> now you have conquered, you have conquered Nigeria. Nigeria is too small for you. You will go ahead and conquer West Africa in Jesus' name. And you will still go ahead and conquer the whole of Africa in Jesus' name. And from there you will proceed and conquer the world in Jesus' name. Our prayer for all by Elsons is that whatever we choose to do, we should be the very best. I was very happy. And today when they told me, you people are coming here to present this trophy to me on this very special birthday of mine. I have a very simple simple way of celebrating my birthdays. I live a simple life. Um, morning devotion, extended service here, and uh, motherless babies home. Pray with them. That's my birthday. But today is a very special one, because apart from that, we have gone to the prisons to see the situation and to fellowship with them. Uh, I've been part of another important activity at Banquet Hall, where we are giving letters of employment to about 1,000 young Bayelsa graduates, boys and girls. <laughs> and from there, I'm now receiving the victorious Golden Queens of Nigeria. What a birthday. What a birthday. Thank you very much for being a part of it. Thank you for the great work you have done. And together with all the officials, you're going to see where we will leave spotting. Before I wind down my tenure, you will see where we will take it to. Mm. There are a number of things I want to do for you guys, but I will not say it here now. Because we are happy and we are celebrating, I will only announce the one that will add small pepper in your hands. But the bigger things we will do the bigger institutional investments we will make and the changes that need to be made to enable you continue this way and all, not just in your Bayelsa Queens but also all our clubs the Bayelsa United and all in all the sporting uh, competitions that we take part of we want to do uh, make a lot of other investments but for today in appreciation of this wonderful gift birthday gifts you people have come to give in appreciation of your performance and for emerging the champions in Nigeria as far as female football is concerned the government of Bayelsa State will make a cash donation commissioner a bulk cash donation of 22 million naira. <laughs> before the end of this week. By tomorrow, you bring a memo for me to sign and release this. Um, each player should have nothing less than 500,000. Each player. And the balance, you know how to um, take care of others. 
the coaches, the doctor, everybody, all the officials. Um, it is not enough. I would have done more. But we are very happy. We are very happy for this. Thank you very much for what you have done. As I said, you have conquered Nigeria. You have to aim higher. And I want to hear that you are now taking part in other international competitions. And I will support you to participate and to also win and come. Thank you. Congratulations. Congratulations to Bayelsa. Congratulations to each and every one of you and your team, your captain, your coach, and to the ministry. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you. God bless you all. Golden. I'm going to spell golden. Then you cut the cake. Are we together? Uh, well, the captain wants to decorate His Excellency with a gold medal. His Excellency is a gold medalist. Ever vibrant, ever strong, even ever young. The day we came for the condolence visits, because of the love we have for this team, we came for a condolence visit, but you in turn gave us money. And the player has said, with this kind of love you have shown to us, what are we going to do to tell him thank you? On that very day, they all agreed, we all agreed that we must make sure we win a trophy for you. And 2015, when we came to present a silver medal to you, you told us you are a golden governor. The thing sank into our head and we said we must make sure we present a gold trophy to you. His Excellency, you wouldn't know, while in Lagos, when the Sun uh, uh, Award was going on, as soon as you walked into the arena, honestly, it was really proving that Ofrema Pepe has landed. I was also watching and I said, for the fact that an award has been given to my governor, I must make sure I take this trophy from Lagos here and then present this trophy to him. His Excellency, we want to thank you for the financial and moral support. Honestly, Bahelsa Queens, anywhere we go, as soon as they hear the name Bahelsa alone, they are being scared. And that was how we conquered the whole day. His Excellency, sir, I want to make a passionate appeal. Bahelsa Queens, we have uh, a problem we are facing right now. We don't have a bus, a coaster bus. Thank you, sir. His Excellency, sir, it will interest you to note that the youngest player that was given the award happens to be a Bielsa from Soale community here. <laughs> um, for our policy of local content, His Excellency, sir, the second appeal I want to make is this. We have recruited about 25 guests from our local terrain. But the challenge we are having now is that they cannot be training without them washing their kids. So we are making an appeal that let's see how we can make available little, little thing for them at the end of the month so that they can use that to wash and to wash and then take care of themselves. Because at the end of the day, these are the persons that will take over from these ones when they get retired. So that is the second appeal I want to make, sir. Thank you and God bless you. <laughs>